Code name, Kids Next Door, commonly abbreviated as KND, is an American animated television series created by Tom Warburton for Cartoon Network, and the 13th of the network's cartoon cartoons. The series centers on the adventures of a group of five ten-year-olds who operate from a high-tech tree house, fighting against adult and teen villains with advanced 2 times 4 technology. Using their code names Numbuzz 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, they are Sector V, part of a global organization called the Kids Next Door. Number one is the bald, astute, no-nonsense, super-skilled British-American boy Nigel Uno, leader of Sector V. Number two is the chubby, comedic, intellectual, aviation enthusiastic, nerdy German-American boy Hoagie Gilligan Jr. Number three is the quirky, happy-go-lucky Japanese-American girl Kuki Sanbin. Number four is the short-tempered, often irrational, fighting-prone Australian-American boy Wallaby Beetles. Number five is the intelligent, laid-back, highly skilled African-American girl Abigail Lincoln. The series came about as the result of a viewer's poll by Cartoon Network. It ran from 2002 to 2008, with six seasons and 78 episodes. Two TV movies were broadcast, Operation, ZERO aired in 2006, and Operation, INTERVIEWS, which aired as the series finale in 2008. Codename, Kids Next Door received mostly positive reviews and was one of Cartoon Network's most popular and successful shows of the 2000s. Two video games, Operation SODA and Operation VIDEOGAME were released based on the series. A handful of other Cartoon Network branded games featuring the characters were also released. The series has also seen releases on DVD, both as part of the codename, Kids Next Door series and as additions to other Cartoon Network compilation DVDs. Topic. Overview Topic. Premise. The show revolves around a group of five kids. Number one, Nigel Uno. Number two, Hoagie P. Gilligan Jr. Number three, Kuki Sanbin. Number four, Wallaby Beetles. And number five, Abigail Lincoln, who are the main home operatives of what is known as Sector V, that is part of a worldwide espionage style organization called the Kids Next Door. Their mission is to fight crimes against kids such as homework and flossing, many of which are willingly committed by evil adults, senior citizens, teenagers, and other children. Topic. Production history Warburton created a pilot episode, titled Diseasy does it. For another planned show, Kenny and the Chimp, which was to be produced by Hanna Barbera. Among the planned recurring characters for Kenny and the Chimp was a group of rebellious children known as Those Kids Next Door, who carried out their mischief from a house next to Kenny's home, and frequently caused trouble for him. The plot line was then changed to focus on the group of kids alone, and later, the kids battling adulthood. In 2001, the show's pilot episode, No P in the OOL, won a Cartoon Network viewers poll, and as a result, code name, Kids Next Door was greenlit to become a series, while Kenny and the Chimp was not greenlit by the channel. The character Professor XXXL, that appeared in 
Dizizi does it became a recurring character in Codename, Kids Next Door after Kenny and the Chimp was not picked up for a series. Despite this, Kenny and Chimpy did make a cameo in No P in the OOL. Topic: <laughs> Storylines. The episodes are titularly presented as the team's missions in the kids next door, denoted as Operation followed by an acronym that can give the viewers clues as to what each mission is about. Some episodes consist of two directly linked parts, and usually the episodes have very little continuity with each other, although occasionally an episode will have a reference to earlier episodes and or lead to consequences in later ones. Season 5's Operation O U T B R E A K is a direct continuation of another episode, Operation V I R U S, and season six, a Operation S C I E N C E, leads into Operation A M I S H, while another pair of season six episodes. Operation R E C E S S and Operation H A M S T E R occur simultaneously, the latter showing what sort of thing transpires while the team is away. Stories in the earlier episodes were often about typical childhood problems, but magnified and exaggerated. As the series progressed, a more complex and continuous storyline developed. The final season revolved around a mysterious splinter cell within the KND itself observing number one for an unknown assignment, which was concluded in the series finale Operation, INTERVIEWS. The show frequently contains references to many films and other television series, especially in the later seasons, such as Dragon Ball Z, The Pink Panther, Planet of the Apes, Jaws, Jurassic Park, The Alien Franchise, King Kong, The Terminator, Resident Evil, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Doctor Who, The Matrix, X-Men, James Bond, Toy Story, The Stargate Franchise, Pirates of the Caribbean, Indiana Jones and the Mission Impossible series with Star Wars being the most prominent. Topic. KND Organization The Kids Next Door Organization is a worldwide group comprising thousands of kids joined in mutual struggle against teenage, adult tyranny. They fight villains that embody specific menaces to children overall, such as dental hygiene or school lunch. Following a period of training, every member of the kids next door chooses a number or alphanumeric code, deliberately pronounced and spelled as number, and is sent to a sector that acts as their home base. The sector headquarters, like some of the organization's bases and facilities, are tree houses, with both tree house and the tree its in being of ludicrous proportions, and often suited to their environment. This includes a base constructed beneath the Arctic ice shelf, and a base built into a large pine tree. The main headquarters of the kids next door is a tree house moon base. Kids follow their oath of protecting other kids as well as battling adulthood until the age of 13, when they are decommissioned, a process of wiping their memories of any past KND activity and warping their minds. 
Such a practice has inevitably led to the creation of many KND villains who escaped decommissioning, notably Kree, formerly known as Numba 11 and Numba 5's older sister, and Chad, formerly known as Numba 274 and Supreme Commander of the Kids Next Door. The practice of strict decommissioning at age 13 was later on revealed to be subject to exceptions. Kids who have proved to be exceptional agents are offered the chance to carry on in KND as spies infiltrating the teen organization. Decommissioning has also proved reversible due to a recommissioning module used four times in the series once in operation end and three times in operation zero topic technology KND agents utilize a vast array of mechanical, electronic gadgets, weapons and machinery, collectively referred to as 2x4, 2x4 technology. The KND's 2x4 technology was originally conceived as being constructed from an assortment of objects, mostly including those that are found in common households, a theme their technology continued to adhere to. However, as the series progressed, the kind of objects their technology was constructed from became bigger, consisting of things such as large vehicles and small buildings. Not only that, but the complexity of their technology, such as their defensive weaponry and transportation, advanced to such absurd levels as to be considered science fiction, despite all of it still being constructed from nothing but said assortment of objects. Some KND operatives also wear helmets, with some similar to Kabuto or Samurai helmets, an example being Supreme Leader Number 362's helmet. A common theme of the show is the introduction of a new never-before-seen device, complete with its own acronym name, in a sidebar screen that temporarily interrupts the storyline. Many of these devices require military-level driving or piloting skills in order for them to be operated effectively. Topic. Characters Topic. Main characters Number 1, Nigel Uno, voiced by Benjamin Diskin. Number 2, Hogarth Pennywhistle, Hoagie Gilligan Jr., voiced by Benjamin Diskin. Number 3, Kuki Sanbin, voiced by Lauren Tom. Number 4, Wallaby, Wally Beatles, voiced by D. Bradley Baker. Number 5, Abigail, Abby, Lincoln, voiced by Cree Summer. Topic. Supporting characters Number 86, Fanny Fulbright, voiced by Jennifer Hale. Number 362, Rachel McKenzie, voiced by Rachel McFarlane. The Delightful Children from Down the Lane, Sector Z, voiced by Benjamin Diskin, D. Bradley Baker, and Cree Summer. Father, Benedict Uno, voiced by Maurice LaMarkey in Father Mode and Jeff Bennett in Benedict Mode. Mr. Boss, voiced by Jeff Bennett. Number 11, Cree Lincoln, voiced by Cree Summer. Number 274, Chad Dixon, voiced by Jason Harris. Night Brace, Jasper Jelly, voiced by Tom Kenny. Sticky Beard, voiced by Mark Hamill. Toilet Nader, Lou Pottingsworth III, voiced by D. Bradley Baker. 
Crazy Old Cat Lady, voiced by Grey Delisle. Grandma Stuffum, voiced by Grey Delisle. Mr. Wink and Mr. Fib, John Wink and Timothy Fib, voiced by Tom Kenny and D. Bradley Baker. Henrietta Heinrich von Marzipan, voiced by D. Bradley Baker and Candy Milo. Ice Cream Men, voiced by Tom Kenny, D. Bradley Baker, Kevin Michael Richardson, and Darren Norris. Senior Citizen Squad, voiced by Candy Milo, Tom Kenny, and D. Bradley Baker. Number Zero, Montgomery. Monty. Uno, voiced by Frank Welker in Adult Mode and Dave Wittenberg in Number Zero Mode. Number 49, Temporary, Number Vine, Elizabeth. Lizzie. Divine, voiced by Gray Delisle. Number T, Trillion, Thomas. Tommy. Gilligan, voiced by D. Bradley Baker. Mushi Sanban, voiced by Tara Strong. Number 6, Bradley the Skunk, Animal Sound Effects by D. Bradley Baker. Number 9, Maurice, voiced by Kari Payton. Number 83, Sonia, voiced by Janice Kawai. Number 84, Lee, voiced by Janice Kawai. Count Spankalo, voiced by Darren Norris. Topic. Episodes There are six seasons, each with 13 episodes, two half-length episodes counting as one, adding up to 78 episodes altogether. There have been two TV movies, the first taking place between the second and third episodes of season 6, Operation ZERO, and the second at the end of season 6, Operation INTERVIEWS, which served as the series finale. Topic: Reception Codename, Kids Next Door received mostly positive reviews and became one of Cartoon Network's top rated and most popular series. It holds an 8.1,10 rating on TV.com, a 7.2,10 rating on IMDb.com, and a 96% rating from Google users. Common Sense Media, an education and advocacy group that promotes safe technology and media for children, wrote that the silly cartoon is too violent for the youngest viewers. Topic. Awards and nominations In 2005, the series won the Best Television Series for Children Award at the Ottawa International Animation Festival for Operation ARCHIVE, which was written by Tom Warburton and Mo Willems and storyboarded by Guy Moore and Quack Lurd. The following year, Operation LICORICE won the festival's Kaleidoscope Award for Television Animation for Children. Topic. Broadcast Cartoon Network, 2002-08, 2009-14 Kids WB, 2004 Boomerang, July 2016 to October 2016, February 2017 to March 2017, January 2, 2018 present. Topic: Other media. Topic: Home media. 
two DVDs in two volumes were released of the series, totaling 16 episodes by Warner Home Video. The entire series is available on digital purchase in six volumes. On May 30, 2019, the entire series, with the exception of the Operation Zero TV movie, was added to the Boomerang streaming service and its VRV channel. Topic in other series or works on an episode of The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy entitled Sickly Sweet, a scene depicts Grim watching Codename, Kids Next Door. Also, in Billy and Mandy's Big Boogie Adventure, Number 3 makes a cameo as Grim's replacement. Also, in the Mad episode, Taking Nemo, Once Upon a Tune, number one cameos as one of the cartoon characters who has forgotten his identity. The show was also referenced in the new boys' song, Tough Kids. In the 2004 film Sideways, the show is playing on Miles' mother's television set. Topic. Publications Stories featuring the kids next door have been featured in the comic series Cartoon Cartoons, Cartoon Network Block Party, and Cartoon Network Action Pack. The characters are also featured in the books 2x4 Technology Handbook and Super Secrets and Boomerang Bloopers, both by Allison Wilgus. Topic. Trading cards A trading card game based on the series was launched by Wizards of the Coast in July 2005. Topic. Video games Two video games were released for the series, Operation, SODA in 2004 for the Game Boy Advance and Operation, VIDEOGAME in 2005 for PlayStation 2, Xbox, and GameCube. Several browser games were also released on the Cartoon Network website. The MMORPG style game Operation, BEST was playable for a brief time in 2005, but was shut down shortly thereafter. In Cartoon Network Universe, Fusionfall, Numbers 1 through 5, and Villain's Father, Toilet Nader, and Stickybeard appear as non playable characters. Can defense armor and 2x4 tech weapons are available for players, Sector V's treehouse can be explored, and KNDSCAMPERs can be used for transport. In Cartoon Network, Punch Time Explosion, Father and Number One Air Playable, Sector V Treehouse and the COOLBUS are arenas, and Number Two and Stickybeard are assist characters. In the console versions, Toilet Nader is a playable character, Number 4 is an assist character, and KND Moonbase is an arena. Topic possible revival and proposed spin-off On January 31, 2008, during a Q&A session on LiveJournal, when Tom Warburton was asked if Operation INTERVIEWS was in fact the true finale of Codename, KND, Warburton said that it was not necessarily meant to be the finale, stating that a revival could be made in the future. Warburton had unsuccessfully pitched a Galactic Kids Next Door spin off several times to Cartoon Network executives, and at one point he considered to make a TV movie as a pilot for the potential spin off series. Following having any response, Warburton eventually decided to create a pitch that would be distributed over the internet pseudonymously in order to try and get the series approved with help from fans. 
Warburton wrote the script and collaborated with others who had worked on the series to produce an animatic style pitch. On March 19, 2015, a video was posted on YouTube of what appears to be an animatic of a darker sequel series featuring Number no. 1 and the Galactic KND, entitled Galactic, Kids Next Door. On April 1, 2015, a fan-made petition was started on Change.org to make G. KND a real series, which was also signed by Warburton himself and by voice actor D. Bradley Baker. Rat Animation also showed interest in the project. Warburton later noted that the executives at Cartoon Network had noticed the response but were not interested in a continuation to KND, though he remained confident to get the sequel approved in the future. 